Come here, baby. Let me show you your new bunkhouse RV. Welcome to the Keystone Passport 221BH. All right, I'll stop. But actually, with it being 26 feet, 4 inches, roughly 5,400 pounds dry, can sleep 8, and being Keystone, so you're going to get those calling cards like the Blade Pure distribution system, which gets you about 30% more effectiveness on your AC, color-coded wiring, solar flex solar panel with inverted outlets, Gerard tankless water heater, and bow floor upgraded flooring, as well as carpetless slides. Keystone makes a solid camper. And to me, the Passport series is really that good kind of, we want a fiberglass RV, <clears throat> but we want to be kind of entry level. We want to feel like it's entry level, but we still want those upgraded features because we want to pay entry level price. That's where I think the Passport kind of fits the bill. This double over double bunk model here, where you have the bunks in the rear camp corner, 300 pound capacities, three inch thick, plush and comfortable bunk mattresses here. You got windows up top. You also got window down below. And do I have it? Yes, I do. <clears throat> Outside of this privacy curtain, you have USB dual charging on the top as well as on the bottom. And I like how down here, we have the flip up bunk, which will lock into place. And there's even a storage door right there that will allow you to load in, well, I mean the bikes, you know, maybe even a kayak, if you can fit it all the way up to the front, which you should be able to with the space here. But it just gives you that functionality of having something that you could say, hey, we don't really need two bunks, but we need some more storage space. Fold that up, lock it, load it from the back. You have that option of not having to bring it all the way through the coach which to me is fantastic. Now, this ash decor to me also looks good. Uh, Ian coined the phrase grayish, the combination of gray and beige. And I think that really kind of makes the match of what this color scheme is. You got the darker gray inlays here, like you'll see in the slides, with the matte black pulls, which we'll talk about here in a second. Um, but I, I like the flow. I like the color palette that we have here in the Passport. You also have in the bathroom, which is in the off-camp corner, High-rise plastic bowl with the foot flush, corner-mounted sink uh, with the matte black feature on my faucet. I like that inverted outlet here as well. So if I wanted to charge my cell phone and I didn't, I wasn't plugged in. As long as I had the power of the sun, I'd be able to do it. Also have the shaker style cabinet here on my mirrored medicine cabinet, and then the oversized surround, which I mean for a camper that's this size, less than 27 feet. Uh, Feels very spacious. And also like how gone is the curtain. Now I have the retractable slide there. You get more space coming and going. You get a better seal on here as well. Plus the skylight giving me more headroom. Corner notches as well as space. And of course, you got your shower nozzle right there. All in all, it's a pretty standard floor plan. Uh, the 221BH. It's been extremely popular. Families love it because of the, the space. A lot of manufacturers make it. Not a lot of manufacturers give you some of the features like Keystone gives you, the ones I mentioned before. How about an oversized Norcold fridge freezer combo right here? 10 cubic foot in this beauty. Good space. Got the little floodlight down at the bottom. Give you some security when moving around the coach at night without waking everybody up. And then the L-shaped kitchen here with the rounded edges on my pressed surface countertop. Underneath, you get a chance to mount a stainless steel farmhouse style sink. And of course, it's been popular for years, the high-rise faucet with the pull-down sprayer. And because this is you know, one of those coaches where they want to maximize the space, but also maximize the safety. You have the extendable countertop as opposed to one that comes out a little bit further, not allowing you to move around when the slide is in. Flush mounted three burner cooktop over here as well with the 16 inch Furion oven. And you even get, I like this, I like oversized drawers because if you do want to boil some pasta, I mean, you're talking about seven plus people possibly being in here, you're going to be using big pots why not have the option of being able to store those big pots in a big drawer as opposed to just little ones? So just having that feature is nice. High point microwave there, Insignia TV on the pullout swivel arm. And of course, since it is Keystone, you're also going to get the Key TV multi-source connection, which is a smart connector. You get to the campground and you just plug in. This is gonna know whether it's cable or whether it's satellite. 
and it'll be able to give you the entertainment that you want. Across from us, over here on the off-camp side, is where we're going to find our slide. Once again, no carpet. Got the U dinette right on time. Okay, that reduces down into a sleeper. Pull out drawers for more storage. And I like how they gave us the flat front doors on this one. Got the matte black pulls right here, which to me just really looks good. So this could be pantry space. This could, this could also be ward space because the shelves do remove. But having that with the grayish decor just looks really good. And then last but not least, right up front is where we're going to find our Murphy bed system. Now, to me, and this is just my opinion, if you don't need the true separation of space that you'll get with a bedroom, then the Murphy bed is the way to go because you're going to have a shorter camper. It's going to be a little bit less weight to tow as well. And you're going to have a little bit more function and opportunity to do different things thanks to a couch and a bed. If you don't want to just sit on the bed and watch TV, you got a couch. If you need to make the bed, just flip up the jackknife. You'll notice that you got drawers down beneath. You got two spring latches, or excuse me, two securing latches over here that just drop your queen size bed down and boom, now you have your bed. You do have a curtain uh, that goes there as well. Plus you got nightstand space, you know, ward space, no shelf up top because it is a Murphy bed and inverted outlets on both sides. Plus you got more storage over here on the other side of the kitchen. Add that to the fact that you got the IRV Technologies Entertainment Center right here by the door. You do have a battery heater because the passports come with the Dragonfly lithium batteries. That's a win every day when you're talking about staying off the grid for a minute. Those lithiums really help out. And of course, you get to run out your slide and your awnings right there with, with your Keystone Command panel. So, awesome little coach for 26 feet, 4 inches, uh, space to sleep 7, and it's Keystone, Passport. Uh, super light, super awesome. Let's go check out the outside. So here we are on the outside of the all new 2023 Keystone Passport 221BH. Let's start right up front. Love camp convenience things like powered tongue jacks. You also have the stabilizer jacks underneath as well, which are powered, the PSX ones. But hopefully you can see it here on with the camera. That is a powder coated frame, a sturdy base to really give this coach some good support. Twin 20 pound LP tanks there as well. Upgraded batteries, Dragon fly lithium batteries are sweet plus they're like a hundred amp hour so come on that's great giggy box right there which is a battery disconnect protected from the elements plus you got that mini diamond plate rock guard down here and a beautiful fiberglass topper beautiful fiberglass sides as well with uh, the foam insulation the aluminum frame this is a good light coach it's keystone so it's gonna be built well. Magnetic anti-slam doors with covered hinges here on your pass-through storage, which is finished off. Plus you got the LED light there and here. You can even see some of that aluminum superstructure that we have in there. Sealed safety windows all the way around as well. Still fold up steps, extra large awning with the LED light strip and marine grade speakers on the outside. I like the Solera Smart Arms. Not only do they have the adjustable pitch, but the Smart Arm you know, has a sensor in it. So it gets too windy, that joker's going in. Friction hinge door, extra large door guard, double axle on this beauty too. So you got the aluminum rims right there and those Dexter Easy Lube axles. Looks good too, got them sitting all shine. And I mentioned on the inside, the key TV multi-source connection. Well, you have that on the outside too. So the smart connector for your entertainment when you hook up at the campground. Plus you got an inverted GFCI outlet outside if you wanna plug in a TV and hey, check to see if they're okay, what will run off of it. But since it's an inverted outlet, that'll run off that 200 watt solar flex panel that's sitting on top of your passport. Fancy, funky little option. Another funky option, outside kitchens. But more importantly than that, griddles. A couple of years ago, manufacturers went away from you know using just exclusively the two or even sometimes the three burners, but started giving us griddles. To me, that really opens up breakfast, makes lunch a little bit more exciting. And of course, this just slides in back into place. And you also have the hot point mini fridge, some storage space, and the anti-slam door. Spray ports is gonna be located here on the rear, as well as the ladder on the back, which is solid mounted and goes over the top because the roof is walkable. You're also set up for backup camera. And right there is that luggage door that we were talking about on the inside with the storage that if you wanted to just put in the kayaks, needed extra space to load the gear, or maybe you just want to play slip and slide. Uh, I would just watch out for the floor grate 
that could hurt. And around on the off camp side, that's where you're going to find your terminations. Uh, you do have a 37 gallon fresh tank, 60 gallon gray, and 30 gallon black on this one. Plus, you have your little outside command center with your key TV multi source connection and, and all that good stuff. But I got to tell you, 5,400 pounds dry, can sleep seven, 26 feet, four inches. If that checks the boxes and you've already had an RV or maybe you're looking for your first one, you want some of those upgraded features, some, some of those upgraded amenities without breaking the bank and you want something fiberglass that's lightweight. These Passport SLs are lightweight and well built. And I got to tell you, it could be just right for you and your family or the dogs or a couple of families. They'll sleep seven. So if this is it and you say, hey, Chris, how do I get this one? very easy. Just check out campingworld.com, find the one closest to you, and then do me a favor. Let me know where you're going to go camping first or next. 